Hello everyone. In Geometry for Cat series, today we are going to have our third session on points and lines in a triangle. There are four different kind of points. First is in center, which is which is intersection of the angle bisectors in a triangle. Second is centroid, which is intersection of medians in a triangle. Third point is circumcenter which is intersection of perpendicular bisectors in a triangle and the fourth point is orthocenter which is nothing but intersection of altitudes in a triangle. Now let's go to the questions. First question it says if the altitudes of a triangle are 12, 16 and n how many integral values of n are possible. So three different altitudes has been given. So we know that in a triangle, if side lengths are, let's say that three side lengths we take A, B and C, then we can say if altitudes has been given, so the side lengths are inversely proportional to the altitudes. Why? Because side length into altitude is area and area is always constant. So different side lengths their corresponding altitudes product is always equal so we can say that a is to b is to c will be equal to 1 by 12 is to 1 by 16 is to 1 upon n okay this will be the ratio of side lengths which we can write now multiply all these values by 48 n so this will become 4 n this will become 3n and this will become 48. So this is nothing but the ratio of side lengths. Now in any triangle, we know that sum of any two sides must be greater than the third and the absolute difference between any two sides must be less than the third. So what we can say about this, the sum of any two sides means 4n plus 3n must be greater than 48 or we can say n must be greater than 48 by 7. Also the difference between any two sides must be less than the third this one or we can say n must be less than 48. So from there we can say n must be greater than 48 by 7 and less than 48. So what are the values of n that we can get? So n can be 48 by 7 is 6 point something. So least value, integral value will be 7, 8, 9 till 47. So how many different values? So number of values of n will be equal to 47 minus 7 plus 1 which is equal to 41. So if you check the options, option B is 41. Now, next, find the area of a triangle whose altitudes are 8 centimeter, 12 centimeter and 12 centimeter. So a triangle, two altitudes are equal. Can we say two side lengths will be equal? If two altitudes are of same length, triangle must be isosceles. Let's say this is A, B and C. AB is equal to AC. Then the unequal altitude will be on unequal side length. This, this length will be 8. Right? Let's say this is D. So AD will be 8. Now, again, if we compare with area, can we say that the side lengths in these, what will be the area of this triangle? We can say this will be half into BD, BC into 8. This should be equal to. Now, there will be an altitude on AB, which length is 12, and another altitude on AC, which length is also 12. This is 12, and this one is also 12. This will be equal to 1 by 2 into AB into 12 which is also equal to half into AC into 12 and that let's say area A. 
or let's say something k area is not a let's take it as k a is already one of the vertex let's say this is k <coughs> so in that case what we can say about the side length can we say bc will be equal to k upon 4 okay and this is bc similarly <coughs> AB will be equal to K upon 6. AC will also be equal to K upon 6. So AB is K upon 6. This one is also K upon 6. BC is equal to K by 4. This whole length is K by 4. Now this is an isosceles triangle. So the altitude will also be the median. The altitude on unequal side will also divide it equally. So BD will be equal to DC. In that case, BD will be half of K by 4, which will be K by 8. <coughs> so can we say that area, again, area of this triangle will be 1 by 2 into, not area, we can use the Pythagoras theorem here. Area is already K given. So using the Pythagoras theorem, what we can say that K by 6 whole square minus K upon 8 whole square should be equal to 8 square Pythagoras theorem in A, B, D. <coughs> so from there we can say K square upon 36 minus K square upon 64 is equal to 64. From there we can take K square common. Let's take denominator as 64 into 36. 64 minus 36 is equal to 64 or k square will be equal to 64 into 36 into 64 and 64 minus 36 is 28. So, yahan se kya jayega? So, k will be equal to square root of this 64 square into 36 can be written as 6 square. 28 can be written as 2 square into 7. So, kya jayega? 64 into 6. Isko agar 2 se divide karte hai, 3. So, 192 divided by square root of 7. Now, if you check the options, answer is option C. This will be our area. Again, how did we find the area? <coughs> Let me repeat this. As there are two altitudes of same length, this triangle will be isosceles. So I have taken AB is equal to AC. The altitude to the unequal side will also be the median in isosceles triangle, right? So in that case, if I compare the area by taking each side and their corresponding altitude, so I can write it like this. This is K. Now we got each side length in terms of K. So AB is equal to K by 6. BC is equal to K by 4. So in that case, we got BD is equal to K by 8. Now we can use Pythagoras theorem and we can find the value of K directly. Okay. Now, let's go to the next one. Which says all the three medians of a triangle are even integers. If the two medians are 6, 12, then how many values third median can take? So, they go. किसी भी ट्रायंगल में अगर साइड लेंथ ए बी सी है तो हम क्या जानते हैं सम ऑफ एनी टू साइड्स मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन द मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन द थर्ड साइड राइट मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन द थर्ड साइड एंड द थर्ड साइड मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन द एब्सोल्यूट बिटवीन डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू साइड्स दिस वी कैन से अबाउट द थर्ड साइड in terms of median, this is also the case. In any triangle, if three medians has been given, let's say third median is M. <coughs> so in any triangle, remember, the absolute difference between any two median must be less than the third median. And the sum of any two medians must be greater than the third. So if in question, mein dekhe, to ek median, if we M, maan liya, this must be greater than 12 minus 6 and must be less than 12 plus 6. So from there we can say m is greater than 6 less than 18 
Now m is even. It says median are even integers. So m can take 8, 10, 12, 14 or 16 as its value, right? So how many different values are possible? 5, which is option B. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now, let's go to the next question. <coughs> next question, it says in the triangle ABC, angle ABC is 50 degree, angle ACB is 70 degree, points D and E are on BC such that AD and E are angle bisector and altitude respectively. Meaning, AD is the angle bisector, A is the altitude respectively. Find angle DAE. So, let us draw the triangle. So, it will be something like, if we draw the triangle, something like this. So, kuch aisa. Triangle A, B, C. Angle B has been given, which is 50 degree. Angle C has been given, which is 70 degree. You know? Now, we need to draw median, something like this. Okay. Or maybe this line could be a little slant, something like this. So, this is D. Now, AD is the angle bisector. So, 50 plus 70, 120. Angle A must be 60 degree and if we AD is the angle bisector, both of these angles will be 30 degree and 30 degree, right? So, in that case, we can also say that this angle will be 100 degrees. Now, it says that AE, AE is the altitude. So, let us draw the altitude here. This is E. What we need to find is angle D A E. Now think about this. In triangle, in triangle D A E. This is triangle D A E. This angle is 90 degree. This angle will work as exterior angle, which is 100 degree, and we need to find this angle, right? So we know that in any triangle, the exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles. So, can we say that angle DAE plus angle DEA which is 90 degree should be equal to 100 degrees or we can say angle DAE will be equal to 10 degrees. So, our answer is option A. Now, in these type of questions, you need to, if you need to find angle DAE, you can directly use the formula that angle DAE means the angle made by the altitude and the median will be equal to the absolute difference between angle B minus angle C. So, you can directly solve this using this formula. 50, 70 ka half kitta, difference ka half kitta, 10 degrees, okay? Next question, it says in a triangle ABC, if angle A is 110 degrees and O is the circumcenter of the triangle ABC, then angle BOC is, what will be our angle BOC? So, there is a triangle, obtuse angle triangle, where this is angle B, A and C. This angle is 110 degrees. Now, in any obtuse angle triangle, we know that the circumcenter lies outside the triangle. So, the circumcenter will be somewhere here. It is outside the triangle. We need to find angle BOC. This angle that we need to find. Now, what do we know? Using the circumcenter, we can draw a circle which passes through all three vertex of the given triangle. Now, if this angle is 110, what we can say that if I make another angle using the same code BC on the circumference. So, in any circle, this vertex is D, then ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and in any cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of 
opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees so this will become 70 degree right okay in remember this in any circle if you draw a quadrilateral this is known as cyclic quadrilateral this angle is alpha this angle is theta you can say alpha theta plus alpha will be equal to 180 degree okay this is what we are using here apart from this there is another property of circle that the angle made by a code on the circumference and the angle made by the same code on the center this is center o if this angle is theta this angle will be 2 theta so if this is 70 degree this angle will be 70 into 2 which is equal to 140 degrees so that is our answer 140 degree now you will see that see that sir a uh, kuch formula apne bataya tha ki jo angle hota hai boc circum center ke case mein ye agar theta hai to ye wala angle kya hoga iska double hoga 2 theta hoga to ye tab hota hai when theta is theta is less than 90 degree hai na not always agar ye obtuse hai fir agar ye theta hai aur theta is greater than 90 degree मतलब अगर obtuse angle triangle है so in that case you will have to solve it like this है ना क्या हो जाएगा कि 180 में minus करो उसका double करो तो अगर ये theta है तो जो angle है यहाँ पे मान लो इसको कुछ O ही मान ले तो angle O क्या हो जाएगा twice of 180 degree minus theta चा twice of 180 degree minus theta so twice of 180 degree minus 110 will be 70 into 2 which is 140 degree and that is our answer. So with that we are done with this session. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.